maltiness in the beginning. So this one is different to the 18 year old, which was more fruity in the nose. Welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning, I'm the master taste of whiskey.com and today we have the next Cardu, 21 years old, here on my cask. It's a cask strength with 54.2 ABV and well the pricing is quite steep, it's 140. So the 18 year old I tasted just before and which I published yesterday uh, was 70. So three years more well, and cast strength doubles the price. This is quite a steep price curve over the ages. Yeah, I'm very happy <coughs> Sorry, that Cardu was able to issue this bottle because it was so, yeah, so low on volume for the 12 years old in former times that they had to stop the selling of the 12 year old uh, on the continent. <clears throat> on the northern part of the continent and uh, I was really astonished and, and happy to see a 15 year old coming up then the 18 year old and now the 21 years old. So I think they changed uh, the content of the Johnny Walker where the Cardu is one of the lead malls uh, to Deloane instead of Cardu. So they put a procedure in place at Deloane where they uh, well, they copied the taste of the Cardu in the Dailoin distillery and this is done by, well, by stopping the distillation, by cutting off the centerpiece of the distillation a little bit more early. And this brings the taste quite comparable to Cardu and therefore they can bottle the Cardu as a single malt and use the Deloane, which is not bottled as a single malt. Uh, well, the first time Cardu was bottled was now a 34 or 37 years old. I talked about that, but I hadn't <laughs> the chance to taste it yet. Um, so the, uh, the Cardu is now able to deliver more and the financial crisis from 2007 and 2008 helped Cardu a lot to preserve their casks in the warehouses uh, because demand reduced from the southern uh, states of Europe a lot. So they had no money uh, to buy a Cardu, they had to switch to their brand. Sorry, wrap up. Yeah, so now there's more uh, for us connoisseurs. Um, the Cardu has a wonderful, 21 years old, has a wonderful box right in the inside and on the back there is a, a signature written here. It's Helen Cummings and she was one of the very few famous women which run, ran a company. <clears throat> um, yeah. Uh, Yes, Cardu. Um, on the bottle, there's more. Um, you see, there is a, a golden printing. It's an offset printing on this bottle, and in the bottom there is a uh, well, a sticker uh, showing uh, the absolute by volume, fifty-four point two and the content of 70 CL um, estimated. Uh, this brings up the hope that there will be more 21 years old in later times, so they just have to change the sticker and then it's good. But I just saw that there is written distilled 1991, bottled 2013. Pah! What's that? Uh, so they they can't change uh, the sticker in later times because then they would have other vintages. So I think this is done for the different bottlings for uh, the European market where the standard uh, volume of a bottle is 70 CL, so 0.7 liters, and the bottling in the United States is 0.75 of a liter as a standard bottle. 
and they, I think, will have uh, a different lot, uh, so that there is a the, that they can have the printing on the bottle, and the content is just a little bit different. So there's a chance to fill up uh, 0 0.05 liters uh, on top in the same bottle. Yeah, from time to time, it's working that way. Um, and here on the top, there is a another label telling uh, this, the bottle number 2951 and there's one of 6000 bottles. So this is quite a small amount of bottles and uh, well <clears throat> there are people in the world who have money like hell. They do not care about money at all and those people are around a percent or a per mill uh, of the population, well, in the early industrialized world, in the Western world, and, uh, well, among the people are 0.2 to 0.3 uh, lovers, connoisseurs of whiskey, of single malt whiskey, and if you multiply this 1% to 1 per mill with the 0.2 to 0.3 per mil percent of connoisseurs. This is a very small number, but multiplied with the 700 million people living in the Western world, uh, there are still tens of thousands of connoisseurs of whiskey which do not care at all about the pricing of a whiskey. And if you have a lot, amount of bottles in a lot of 6,000, then it's very, very few. Cardew is a very famous distillery and the 12 year old sells in millions and millions of bottle, bottles. So there's the chance that those extremely wealthy people buying all those bottles. Sh shit happened, sorry. Um, so the chances, if you see such a bottle, just give, take it. Uh, the chances that there is a second bottling is not that high because the 15 and 18 year old should have helped to to let the floors of the warehouses be visible at Cardew. So I don't know how many uh, bottles, no not bottles, lots uh, will show up in the future of this 21 year old Cardew. But we are happy to see so many different Cardews on the market. There are a bunch of uh, no age statement Cardews on the market, and special cask and amber rock and how they're called, a lot of them. Um, so they are for, well, the supermarket, uh, cheaper, uh, but the 12 year old is not that expensive at all, and around 30, I think. and. There are some of those no age statement whiskies which are more expensive than the 12 year old. The 15 year old is still affordable at 50, the 18 year old at 80 or 70, and this one now at 140. <sighs> Maltiness in the beginning, so this one is different to the 18 year old which was more fruity in the nose. And then sherry aroma with dark fruits, those figs, dates, raisins, plums, all those dark oxidized fruit. A little spiciness showing up already from the cask, maltiness and our caramel. Yeah, so I still have two whiskies to go today, so I have to dilute it down well below 50, not to disturb my taste buds on my tongue. Uh, it takes a little bit until it mixes. Fruit, yes, exploding fruit. And those juice oranges I was so happy with, with the 18 year old are all so here. Caramel, vanilla. It's a wonderful, complex aroma. Yes, very much. Mm. 
Mm. Oh, a strong impact on my tongue. It's spicy. Attacking my tongue. It's prickling at the tip of my tongue. And then darker chocolate. Roasted nuts, hazelnuts, uh, probably a little bit sharper, more walnut and cinnamon. Yes, um, drying cinnamon, little bitterness like this cinnamon bark, not mixed with sugar, no, pure, raw. The f uh, spiciness is fading away quite fast. There's this wonderful mouth covering of the whiskey. Medium to long aftertaste. Now there's more fruitiness, more oranges, going over to red oranges. <sighs> Clementine. Yeah. Vanilla and caramel. Just a head. Mouth-watering, juicy oranges. Yeah. Aww. I still have a whiskey to go today, and I do not empty that glass because otherwise my taste buds would be covered too much by the whiskeys before. So people are counting how how often I'm tasting this whiskey, just once, and then I put it away or twice, and. Uh, if I empty the glass, it's the highest uh, <laughs> rating I can give to a whiskey. So please recognize this whiskey as emptied. And then people look, if I'm placing the glass very carefully, then it's a high value whiskey. Or if I'm putting it down and say, Mah, go away, stay there, nothing for me. So it's just a, bit, a little bit too over demonstrated. Yeah, wonderful. Whenever you have the chance to get your fingers on such a bottle, this is one of the very best I had this year. Yeah, really. Thank you for watching. There's more to come. Stay tuned and feel free to give your comments in our vlog or in our forum on whiskey.com and look up comments people gave to this bottle uh, from around the world in our whiskey database on whiskey.com. <laughs>